Hey, welcome to Flutterflow, a brand new project that allows you to build Flutter apps um, in a no-code environment and drag and drop. Uh, I'm the designer uh, for the Flutterflow team. My name's Andrew, and I'm just gonna run you through basically the interface, um, how to interact with the interface, how to build simple projects. Um, I have a few projects here, and we're just gonna run you through how to interact with the interface and how you can know the basics of a project and the tool itself. So uh, this is the home screen. Uh, you can create projects or go to an old project and manage your projects here. Uh, this is an older project that I built off of a tutorial that you can access right here in the top bar. Let's skip for now. Um, so this is the main builder screen. You can toggle a device on and off here. You can change the device um, sizes here. This is where all of your elements live in the left side panel. And this left, far left uh, side panel is a navigation bar. It allows you to sort of toggle through different views. Um, the first three are all live within this secondary sidebar. And the last four are sort of larger pieces. We have a widget tree, which is basically a layers list. Uh, if you come from the design world, um, and it basically assigns, you know, the structure of your application that you've built and how everything is formed. We have actions here. So once you select an element, you can add an action on tap. Um, you can navigate or go through a few different options here. Um, we'll we'll let, you know worry about that later. You have app settings. This is probably one of the most important. Well, in order to build large scale apps. Um, this is a very important screen. So this allows you to set up the structure of your app. So a nav bar would be the bottom nav bar. Um, you can toggle it on or off. You can show labels um, in two different states. And then you can um, set the background color for that nav bar and even the icon. And you can change icons from selected to unselected, which is really cool. Something that's very uh, common in most applications. So super neat. These are project colors, these would be like a theme, essentially, you can set up your theme. So you can do a color picker, you can copy a hex code. Um, I come from a design agency and or design agency background, and so you know what we'll do is we'll design in a program and then we'll try to copy our theme over to Flutterflow. Um, this allows me to do it very quickly. Um, so primary, secondary, and tertiary colors. And then you can also apply different colors throughout the application. Um, so this is just a general style guide for you. You can set the primary font family and secondary font family, and then just major um, typo typography hierarchy here. So uh, colors, font family, size, and weight. So these are general things, and you can also use this in your UI. So setting it up here makes it really easy and keeps your app consistent. Uh, we have Firebase, um, configuration 